Make sure that you're activating your colors again by putting some water drops in every single pan that activates the colors. So the underpaint is done. It is dried completely and we're ready to add some of the overpaint. And we're gonna do that with dry brush. Dry brush means that you are using dry paper and a wet brush and wet paint. So when you wanna show something that's very far away, one way to show depth in an artwork is by adding increasing the value of a color. So for example, we would want our very, very darkest colors far away back here by the horizon line. And what I'm doing right now is I'm adding in some horizontal lines into the water. And this is going to give us the illusion that there is water. So I'm doing this right on top of my underpainting, but I don't want to cover it up completely because I want to see that reflection from the sky. As I come down, I'm going to switch to a lighter color. So I'm now mixing my two colors, that dark blue with a lighter blue, and I'm starting to add, add in some of that lighter blue as I make my way down to the bottom. All right, I've created that dark value moving down to some lighter blues, and I actually brought in some greens for my water. I'm not going to touch the, the sky on this one. I like the way that it's looking right now. But what I am going to do is create overpainting for some of my details over here. Now, my tree, trees, I'm going to just move this around so that you can see what's going on. I'm taking um, two of my colors kind of this dark green and this dark blue. I'm going to show more of a silhouette rather than thinking about it as 100% with all the details. So I'm just adding some of those colors together and I kind of like adding straight up this darker blue sitting right next to some of these greens. I like the way it mixes on the paper itself. I actually added a couple of extra trees up here and some foliage to finish out what is going on up on the top of this cliff. Now I'm going to move down here into my rocks. Wherever I want to make something stand out a little bit, one thought that a lot of beginning artists will have is that they draw the lines on here. That's not exactly what we do. We want to create the lines by making one side darker and making it kind of fade into the space around it. One way of doing this is by drawing your line. So I'm going to go like this. And then you can actually use water to make it fade into the space around it. And you might have to go back and kind of um, work the water and the brush a little bit to make it fade in but that is one way to separate your spaces. In this case, I'm adding my dark values in the back, but I also want to bring some of the reflection of the trees. I have the sky nicely in the water, but I want to bring some of these greens. So I'm thinking about what's up here, adding about equal distance into the water, and again, bringing in that green in the same sort of way that we are adding the water. So I want two kind of blobs of green reflection. And I have a lighter green in there as well, so I'm going to bring that in as well. And I'll just place the water on top of these reflections. So some of that blue is going to now come in throughout those reflections, kind of like that. And you're going to have the whatever is up above repeated again down below in the water. Here's the four pieces of artwork that we had created for this project. As you can see, all the details have been added. I started out with my water. I put the, the blue in my water, and then I added any additional details. So like the trees on top, um, the clouds, some of the windows in the buildings. Those are the final steps that you do.